come a long way to get here, haven't you? Welcome to Samsara. To our limited perceptions, time is a line from the past to the future, life and death. They look like two different things, but they're not. From outside a mortal vantage point, existence is a flattened circle, a wheel. Raven made the ring of mandala to remind us of that forever. This is Samsara, the center of my people's great work. I sense something very important brought you here. How can we Calamar help? This girl is dying! She needs your help! The chain is why we're here! We need to fill her with the chain's life magic to keep her alive! Why do you want to do that? Death is just a part of the cycle. You have to free your minds. Go talk to our elder. She'll help you. Greetings, stranger. I have seen your coming before in my meditation. You have an amazing aura. Yours is a mighty destiny. You have come to prevent a death. Oh, you do not understand. Life and death are not opposites. They are different segments of the Great Wheel. So why not let this girl die? It is the way. The wheel spins. The matter of her body will nourish new life. This is not to be feared. You don't understand. This isn't just any girl. If she dies, it could mean the end of everything. What do you mean? Let me look into the girl's aura and see if I can see what concerns you so much. This is the raven, child! If she dies, light will be lost forever, and the cycle itself will break! I understand now. You must take her to the Cave of Quickening, where the chain focuses the power of life magic. Cole will arrange it. Wizard, I want to consult with the Elder a little more. You go get ready to go. I'll catch up. You convince the Elder? All right, all right, all right. What you're doing must be really important. You need to get to the Cave of Quickening. Here's how it works. Life energy shines from the Temple of Light onto the Great Wheel at the Cave of Quickening. But the wheel moves. At this time, the Cave of Quickening is in the middle of the dying jungles where death energies are strong. You die without protection. You need to be purified. Talk to Gajad in the market. He can help. The dying jungles? Oh, very dangerous. If you want to keep the death magic of the jungles from withering you, you must purify your body and balance the life magic within yourself. I sense powerful energies inside you. You might be strong enough to resist the aura of death, but it's best to be safe and sure. In our hanging gardens, we use sagram seeds. They're ground into dust to rejuvenate blighted soil. They will harmonize your life energies. Go to the gardens and cover yourself in dust from the red, gold, and black urns there. Then return to me.
It is done. Now you are ready to descend into the jungle. The dying jungles are far away. Too far for you to reach them on the ground. Talk to Losa, the wind driver. Her skyboat will take you. All right, wizard. We're ready to go. Lead the way. Wait, I have to do what with magic dust? Oh, boy. Keep going, wizard. We'll catch up. I will make sure your friend finds his way to you. Go now, and good luck. Yeah, I can take you down to the jungle, absolutely. First, I need to harmonize with the wind spirits and commune with my ancestors. I figure we'll take the updrafts over the clearing of contemplation, then cut across on the west breeze to avoid the headwind. Oh, you're in a hurry. Okay, jump in my boat, I'll get you there. It'll be a little bumpy. Zola, this stranger needs our help. They're going to the Cave of Quickening. Peace and harmony be upon you, stranger. You walk a dark path. Your aura is mighty. Cosmic forces swirl all around you. I see you're touched by sacrum dust. That's good. Your life essence is pure. To reach the Cave of Quickening, you must pass through the Ashen Caves. They are overgrown with fungus born of death magic. Their spores kill all who breathe them. Your aura might protect you, but any who walk with you will surely perish. Sagram dust is not enough. There is an antidote, fruit of the Gomahar tree. It will harmonize the death energies in your body. Go to the Dying Glade and get some.
We're here! Have you found a way to the quickening place? It had better be close. I'm a doctor, not a Sherpa. You brought fruit for your friend too? Right on. The Ashen Caves await you. You will find the Cave of Quickening on the other side. Eat the fruit and you will be ready. Wow, this is pretty good. What you might call a magical fruit. Nice to finally get some lunch. Okay, wizard, lead on. We'll be right behind you. The creatures in the caves will try to bar your way. Do not let your courage waver. May you reach your destination, stranger. Stand where you are, breathe deep, and become one with death. You cannot resist.
You cannot resist. Press on to your death. Intruder! Are we there yet? A child of Raven? You hold up prisoner? Release her or perish!
I have failed in my charge. You have defeated me, but rest assured, Raven will avenge me and her child. We're not here to hurt this Raven child, you idiot. We're here to save her. We need to get her to the Cave of Quickening immediately. Your mercy proves your words. You cannot reach the Cave of Quickening this way. I have collapsed this end of the Ashen Caves to protect it. Come, I will lead you to the Cave of Quickening by another way. There. This hidden path will take us to the Cave of Quickening. Let us enter. Jehor Azim, children of the New Age, you have much to explain. The Son of Spider is responsible for this. These are troubling tidings. In the Temple of Light, we sense Malori's distress from afar. Raven sent portents of something happening in the dying jungles that must be stopped. Can it be she meant for me to stop you? I find looking upon this child that I am moved to help her and help you. Your hearts are strong and good. Malori must be restored to health. Place her in the light. The life magic bound into the Great Paradox Chain will sustain her body. That ought to do it. There's nothing to do now but wait. Time for you to get her spirit back. Head off to Dreamland or wherever. You would venture into the Reverie? Beware, wizard. That place can be dangerous indeed. Wizard, we must move quickly. The ether surrounding Imperia makes projection difficult, but it is weakening. I will open the portal to the reverie. Go through it, quickly! Do not fear, wizard. I will guard her as I would the Temple of Light itself. Good luck.
Greetings, Wanderer.